What's going on guys, Lemon here. And Mushroom, and we're doing our updated class setup for Knife Only. That's right, we did one in the beta, but we want to do an updated one, guys, because some things have changed, of course. So we've got a couple different setups here for you guys to run during your Knife Only gameplays. We've got banks, feeds, gameplays, and we're going to talk about fast hands. That's right, so starting off with banks, um, we've got... We, we use a secondary for this because we like knowing where the reticle is. If you go Knife Only, uh, it takes away your reticle, so that's kind of frustrating for banking if you want to do it quickly or stay alive. Um, we've just got a suppressor, you can do whatever you want with that really, it's just to get the cursor there, you can change the weapon as well, do what you want. It's also good to be able to, um, balance. Protect yourself. Oh, fair, fair enough, yeah, yeah. Protect yourself when you go for banks, you're very vulnerable, so it's good to have a secondary weapon that you can actually give yourself a fighting chance. That's right, then we've obviously got the combat axes in there, we've got shock charges to place down if you know of the place where you're banking to, if it's not like a tactical or on the fly bank, if you're doing it purposefully to a bomb spot or a uh, domination flag. Um, then we've got Ghost, Scavenger, and Tack Mask. Obviously these ones, Tack Mask is just meant to keep you in the zone so you don't get messed up by any nades or anything going on around you. Scav to replenish combat axes, obviously, and then Ghost because you don't want to be picked up if you're hiding in a spot to get a bank. That's right. Um, they're fairly similar. The, the main things we're having on all the classes are Tack Mask and Scavenger. That's a, It's pretty much your basic go-to for knifing. You don't want to be hit by stuns and you need to resupply. So that's that's going to be present on every class. Your specialist for the banking, um, we're choosing either between active camo, simply because if you're going for a bank, you can make yourself invisible for a little bit, give yourself that chance, you might be able to pick up that bank, and then of course overdrive because you can get back to your spot real quick, or you can get to a place to bank really, really fast. And there's actually been some clips that we've hit already where that situation we've had to use the sprint and it's actually been the, the factor that got us the bank, so really helpful there. The feeds class, the only thing we've changed is what tactical grenades we're using, so we're using concussion grenades there. Um, we've also changed to dual wield, that's just a personal preference for us, we like being balanced when we're running. Um, so you've got a gun in each hand, it's kind of similar to having the ballistic knife from previous Black Ops games. Um, and then you've also got flak jacket, which is just something different as well, when you're going into a chaotic area with heaps of enemies, um, it's likely that there are going to be grena uh, grenades going off and explosives and that sort of thing. So flak jacket is a little more useful than ghosts. Obviously they're going to know you're there if you're there trying to trying to kill them. So ghost right, is kind of redundant in that situation. Um, for the uh, specialist for that one, we sort of decided on heat wave because you can. It's like an extra stun grenade, but an awesome one. So it basically throws off um, the enemy's screen like crazy. Everything sparks up. Um, and then the last one is, uh, what is it, glitch. Because um, if you run into a room, you see that there's heaps of people and that they're staying there, like hard point or something like that, and they're facing a certain way, you can glitch out, flank around, and do it again from another angle that they might not be uh, monitoring. Yeah, that too, if you screw it up, you can have yourself another chance. Yeah, that's You go it. in there, miss two and it looks bad, glitch out, try again, I don't know, however it goes, but that's a really handy perk. Um, the third one is gameplay, this is if you're going for any sort of knife only gameplay, so we've taken away the pistol for obvious reasons because it's knife only, um, we've ran two lethal combat axes of course, and then your tactical, we've gone with the concussion, it's up to personal preference between that and a shock charge I reckon, if you want to you can put that on, um, we're running tactical uh, in the concussion just because it's more of an on the fly sort of, it's also quicker to release, I yeah it's, it's more handy for you running around than a shock charge would be. Um, and then we've added a uh, we've added six cents on the perk one. This is just so handy. Having your mini map always on is is really really handy for obviously going for gameplays. You want to know where everyone is. Uh, we've kept is that flak jacket? Yeah, that's flak yeah. We kept flak jacket, and then the obvious perk two and perk three are they're always there. Flak jackets probably interchangeable with ghosts depending on your personal preference and your playstyle. So you can switch that with ghosts if you want. If you preferred the bank class to the feeds class. Um, but with the Sixth Sense, it's kind of like the old tactical mask from Black Ops 1 where you kind of see where everyone is. It's really handy to have on. Um, this feeds, we wanted to talk about this, the fast hands. Um, so there's been heaps of stuff flying around on Twitter and uh, between a couple of our mates about fast hands um, actually getting a change to it from the beta um, and it actually increases your throw speed between combat axes. Um, we've played around with it a fair bit. We've tried it a fair bit in custom games so that there was no lag affecting it. We've We've done it uh, multiple times, and we might even chuck a bit on the end here to compare it. Um, but it's kind of random, like it's not really any different. We, we ran this class here, the Feeds Fast, alongside the Feeds class on a Nuketown game and just threw it a wall multiple times, hitting the uh, button that throws a combat axe just to see what happened. 
um, and it was not always faster. So it throws randomly faster and I think that actually works on both classes um, because when we did it without fast ends we also got the same quick animation um, yeah. in like one out of every four or five throws uh, where you did it you still got that quick animation. So we don't think it's it makes enough of a difference to warrant chucking on your feeds class as a permanent um, thing because when you think about it if you're adding uh, fast hands onto scavenger you have to take up one class to activate perk 2 greed or one one out of Slot. 10 spots yeah. um, to get that second perk greed and then you have to add that as well so it's really two places you're taking up which takes away your ability to have flak jacket or your ghosts on there it's not yeah it's not enough of a difference for you to warrant putting it on we, it's really random like you can go ahead and try it yourself so you can put it on it does feel quicker I'll give you that but I think it's it's a brain illusion because We've tested it and it's really, really random. So with, moving on to score streaks. We've, with score streaks, we yeah. always run uh, non-lethal score streaks. Yeah. So these three here, the UAV, counter UAV, and hater. Um, obviously, it's pretty tough unless you're going for a pretty hard out gameplay to get a hater. So maybe you just want to run these back to back and maybe put a care package in the in the middle and hope for a hater. Um, but other than that, it's yeah, UAV, counter UAV, non-lethal because you don't want to post a gameplay with 50 plus uh, raps and mothership kills. Um, and call it an iPhone the gameplay and have everyone call you out. So you that's the main reason never behind it. For no, no, not not, not once. <coughs> and, uh, COD, COD four, no, Modern Warfare two doesn't count. <laughs> anyway, so that's our class setup. That's updated. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you do use something from this class, hit it with the like button. Try them out. Comment down below if we've missed anything or if you've come across anything we've missed. Um, uh, yeah, if you have any differing opinions, let us know, but don't make it too hostile because we really don't care. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. <laughs> we'll see you later.